So everyone right now is really excited about the Raspberry Pi, and I am too, but it's gonna be a little while before I can get my hands on one. But I do have a Beagle Bone, and I wanted to play around with it. I had tried playing around with it before, but was hitting a lot of, uh, a lot of speed bumps along the way. I was having a lot of problems getting it going. So with all the excitement around the Raspberry Pi, it kind of I kind of made me want to redouble my efforts to get it going, and I did, as I'm about to show you. So what I have here is my uh, Beagle Bone. Uh, it's connected to a breadboard with a button and an LED, and that's connected to the Ethernet and 5 volts for power. Uh, my laptop here is on the same network over Wi-Fi, and I in the terminal screen here, I'm logged into the Beagle Bone through SSH. So I'm going to execute the Python script that I wrote, uh, iotest.py. And it's running right now. Um, there's no feedback right now from the terminal, but if I push the button here, the LED turns on, and then I also get feedback from the terminal saying that the button was pressed. So I've got basic digital read and digital write going uh, using Python. Uh, running a Python script, and I think these the sort of embedded Linux uh, boards, I, I think there's a lot of cool stuff you could do with it. Um, think about how easy it is now to like schedule jobs. I mean, if you're familiar with Linux and using cron to schedule jobs at different times, you could write a quick sketch to do something and have it run every once in a while. You could write a few different things to have it control lights or sound or whatever. So I think I'm going to work on a full step-by-step how-to on getting that working, and I'll let you know when that's posted.